severe trigger warning. This video details the consequences of a ruined marriage with children thrown into the mix with a woman beaten, abused, degraded, thrown into the streets, pregnant. It's, it's abhorrent, but it needs to be shown. We need to know the truth. We need to see the reality. And we need more than that to do something about it. It is incumbent upon those who have been faced with the truth to act upon it. That is a fact. Thank you. Subscribe, share, and like this video. Leave your comments down below because I want to know what you think about this and what you would do in this situation. Thank you. Jessica, tell me a bit about yourself. Okay, here, I'm going to give you this. First off, all right. You said you haven't, you haven't eaten all day. Right, here you go. This is healthy for you. You're welcome. We always have to care about each other here. I mean, that's that's what we're here for. We're here to help each other out. Uh, so, tell me a bit about um, your your backstory, okay? If you're willing. Um. I've been homeless for like six years. For six years. Okay. Okay. That's in. I've I've been around here for a while. I haven't seen you, but that's. Uh, so. What happened? What happened? Like, what made what made you become home? What what made you become homeless? My baby father kicked me out. Your baby father kicked you out. When I was pregnant. You were pregnant. And if this becomes too emotional at any point, just let me know. But your baby father kicked you out. You were pregnant. And, okay, um, why did he do that? He put this bruise on my eye. He put that bruise on your eye? Yeah, it just threw up on my head. What? <laughs> so this was recent. So... Okay, he recently kicked you out of the house. And did he say why he did it? He said he didn't want to be with me no more. He didn't want to be with you anymore? And I was pregnant with his baby. You were pregnant with his baby? I still am. You're still pregnant? And you're out on the streets? And he doesn't care? So, holy sh**, Jessica, that, so, do you, do you still want to be with him, or do you realize now, no, I don't want to be with him no more, you don't want to be with him anymore, you want to know, do you know any places that will help me? Yeah, I do know some places that'll help you and you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a call right now. Right now. This uh right after right after this, I'm just, I'm just recording this for of course posterity and so other people will know that there is a solution, there is a way out. And you being strong, I thank you so much because you're helping other people that were in situations like yourself in the future. So I thank you so much, Jessica. And yeah, You're welcome. again, um, do you have any other kids with him? I got three girls. One's ten, one's nine, and one's three. But does he hit those kids? Because I mean, if he hits his wife, if he hits his girl, he, he might hit his kids. My my cousin has two of my kids. And cousin has two of the kids. And his aunt has the other one. The his aunt has girl. the other one? Does he drink? Does he do drugs? Like, he dr he, do he drinks. Yeah, and he does drugs. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I told him all the time to stop because I still love 
him, you know, and I yeah, just yeah, want to be a family for our kids, but it's so hard. You, listen, you, you sometimes it's sometimes we can't really just change people like that with our we they have to they have to hit a wall. They have to hit like a rock bottom and they have to realize they need to change. Cuz this this scumbag hitting hitting women and hitting his kids and drinking that's not a good is that a good family? No, that's not a good family. So he needs to realize that he needs to change. I know when I tell him that all the time, but it goes in one ear and out the other. It goes in one ear and out the other. So, and you're with this this scumbag because you you love him. Yeah, and I'm pregnant by his. And you're pregnant by his kid, and he kicked you out in the streets, like. Like the, the, the good hus- husband, a good partner that he is, he'll, he'll kick his pregnant partner out in the streets. I'm, so you obviously, I don't need to tell you anything. You realize that you don't need to go through that anymore. You, know, you realize that you yeah, don't you know, It's easy for you to say and hard to be done. Well, you feel like he's a part of you, that you're part of him, that, you know, you have a life together, you have kids. You... I, I just need help with my kids. You need help with your kids. And you know what? You know what? You're right for realizing that. You're smart for realizing that. Because those kids are going to grow up, and those kids are seeing this. They're seeing that stuff. And when they hit that age, when they want to start a family, they have two choices. Either continue the cycle or break the cycle. And you are going to be their role model. I try my best, but, you know, without his help, it's hard. He doesn't want to go to work. He doesn't want to do anything. I was, that's what I was going to ask you. Of course, he doesn't have a job, right? He just, for me, he sounds like a classic deadbeat. He's mad at the world because he sucks. So he takes it out on the people around him. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, didn't even have to meet him to know exactly the type of person he is. Put his pregnant wife out in the streets. While he's at home getting high. But you you lose off of government help. Yeah. Didn't even have to ask you to to know that. I'd like to ask him how he how exactly how he feels about this situation. I'd like to I'd like to for him to explain to me how it's right to hit a woman, put on the streets, and to sit at home with no job. We've been together for twelve years. Long, you put up with this years. for 12 years you have more strength you know you have more strength than me honey because day one I would have split yeah but like I said it's easier said than done well it's easier for him to put a shiner on your face than for him to support a family nothing against you honey I know it's all his fault that's what my mother always tells me. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, too. Sometimes we have to take part of the blame, huh? For putting up with that.